Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued let's play the casting of fake stone for the world of dead by daylight My name is a Spyro. This is your story based gaming channel and today Well, thanks to Jonathan Jimbo who posted on the last video a bunch of suggestions We have a game plan to accomplish However in those suggestions he challenged your flightless bird and said if you want a true redemption run You gotta do it on the hardest difficulty. You gotta do it on sacrifice so even though the difficulty right now says observer, I will do my best and play not sacrifice and see if we can do those scenarios that he said on the hardest difficulty. Oh boy, what am I getting myself into? The, the first thing we had to do is go back in time to chapter 13 and watch everyone die. So, I mean, that's, that's going to be easy, but it's going to get harder. It's going to get a lot harder. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. We got to choose a difficulty. It's fine. We'll wait till after this. Well, that's some weird jerkiness there. Did you see that? Oh my gosh! What's with those arcs he's shooting with his hands? Almost looks like a fighting game or something. It's awesome. Can you imagine that horror though to see your father die right in front of you? Golly. And it seems like Jaime makes it out no matter. Yeah, Jaime arrived to see Robert captured Frank Stone. We now really find out how Linda got so brutalized. Linda! It feels like there should have been a scene there or something. All in one piece? <laughs> More or less. Um, so, is, did, did we, is it over? I don't know. I don't think we can be sure. Not yet. Really? There's nothing there about him, like, mourning over his dad or, you know, crying over his body? Oh, there really should have been something there. Wait. So, for this part... Wait, I, I know this. D this was... No, for some no, strange reason, because I had can't thought... What? I had thought the recommendation would be to have to one of Frank Stone's victims. Maddie keep Frank Stone the, the necklace from the mill. But what is it doing here? And maybe that's something that I still want to test. I've seen test. it too. There was a book here that explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. I didn't even think it was real, but but the so suggestion was I give it like to Chris instead for protection. Hey. Uh, Maybe we let the guy who almost got killed back there have a little extra insurance, huh? Okay, I just realized. No, no, there, there's a recommendation where we do give it to Maddie, but not yet. So we're going to have to play the scene once again. Uh, but right now we should give it to Chris. Chris should take it. She's already been through enough. I'm kind of reading these live in <laughs> real time here. Okay, so now we just got to get to the end game. And regardless of 
regardless of if I succeed in this sacrifice chase or not, I don't think it matters because what matters here is Chris going back in time with the pendant. But still, we'll, we'll see how we do in the chase sequences. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Oh, this will be special. What's interesting about this is if you kill Sam and Chris isn't here, this is automatic. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, if you kill Jaime, which I did. So I killed Jaime and killed Sam. Just basically trying to speed everything up. And then when I went in the door, there's no. I don't think there's any choice here because you need two characters to survive. See, because normally this would be the scene where you have to, like, Oh, you can mash him. Okay, so what happens if you don't do this then? Because you need two characters to survive, so... Baby crying. Hey, numbers. So my question is, if the baby was sacrificed earlier in the game, because in this playthrough I believe uh, we saved the baby, right? So if the baby was sacrificed earlier in the game, and that scene happens, does he still hear the baby cries? Because I thought it was mandatory you have to have two people take it to the end from this uh, timeline. I really don't want to have to do an entire new playthrough from the beginning just to check that out. But if you know the answer to that question, let me know in the comment section below. Is it, is it over? I don't know. I don't think we can be sure. Not yet. Okay, let the fun and games and tears begin, shall we? That's two. Three. So far, so good. Man, those are small. One more. Ooh, all right. Part one complete. Do you think that fixed the elevator? I guess we're gonna find out. So San, San has been sacrificed. If we try helping Maddie, it'll work. Stay away from her, you son of a bitch! Shit, shit, shit. 
I just can't panic. That's a key word. Just don't panic. Just don't, don't, don't panic. How the fuck did I ever end up here? Madison. I'm so glad we're finally able to talk one-on-one. -on -one. The fuck are you? What have you done? Ah, uh, yes. A regrettably unavoidable series of misfortunes. I don't expect you to understand everything at play here, but suffice it to say, one cannot make a proverbial omelet without breaking the proverbial eggs. Eggs? We're not fucking eggs. You, you lied. You cheated, manipulated, and, and now there's some kind of horrible monster hunting us. I have never lied to you. Give me a fucking break, lady. I can make your nightmares go away. I will make them go away. All this pain, all this trauma, gone. You just need to tell me you want me to. Sure. I... I wonder how this will all play out. Uh, I... I do. <laughs> I can't live like this anymore. I I can't live in this nightmare. Perhaps it is time for something new. Different diversions here. But it means nothing if we can't get Linda to Sam. And then complete Sam. So I have what, like six or seven more of these to go. By the way, I still have the accessibility option of holding down the X button because mashing is not difficult. It's just, it just hurts my thumb. Oh my God, that is. Oh my gosh, that is so small, that first one. But I'm not dead yet. Although there is times that I will die instantly if I fail on Sam, I think, so... Like I said, the mashing thing there, I'm not... I'm not put out of shape about. I mean, I've done that before. I'm sure that can match. It's just hard on the finger. Let's go, go. Uh, let us flee. Here we go. I can do this. If I can do this, I don't need to do it again. If I can prove I don't once. That's what matters. Can I do it on the first try? Breathe, flightless, breathe. You got this, you got this. DVD master now. Oh my God, I succeeded on that. chase sequence on sacrifice difficulty just so you guys can see sacrifice yes one sacrifice what is that inescapable fate but linda and sam and chris can't you help them nothing else can be done they must find their own path aren't you coming Oh, what do we do here? Now, what's interesting is I think one of Jonathan's comments is initially accept deal as Manny, but then do not follow Augustine. So let's do that now. Yeah, let's do that now. This isn't right. 
I can't. I'm sorry. If that is your choice, you have no idea of the trials you face. Do I have more? Nope. We just escaped. I've done it. Although maybe I should have had Maddie kill there because I don't know if I've gotten that end scenario yet. But then again, I don't know if I've gotten the end scenario with only them three and not Chris. But then again, I would have gotten that anyway. Uh, yeah, I probably would have gotten that anyway on our true playthrough. It's fine. It's fine. And let's push through, correct? Yes. Wait, did this happen before? What the, oh my, what the? She, she's, she's. My God! Curse paint you took reacted to the screen and killed you. Oh my God, that's amazing! I am. I. Oh my God! Jeez. Oh, that was. Yeah, that was awesome. Almost like the the one when she got turned inside out. So this one, she just became ashed. We never seen You're this never before. What I just saw. It's completely insane. It's I saw it too. Nearly took my head off. Because Linda's always because been injured. Uh hmm, it took me some other place. No, no, I, I wasn't even here, man. It, it took me to like some other place. And, and like there were these crazy machines and, and lights, but I don't think it was anywhere in the middle at all. Uh, you what? I know it sounds insane, but there was a girl there. She said Bonnie was her mom, man. You're not making any sense. Chris? There's a reunion. Oh, Aww. I thought you were... I thought... I don't know what the hell I thought, but you were like, gone, man. Yeah, you can say that again. It's good to see you, too. Aww, should attend a moment. Hey, maybe we should all, like... Shuffle off the buffalo. Uh, it's a pendant. So there this time we had to get the, the, the Maddie. Explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. And I realized something as I didn't well. I think it was real, but. Huh. Yeah. When when well, I maybe resisted, I to it. just in case. Augustine and left. Just in case it actually works. Yeah. I mean, I almost got killed once tonight. That was something I haven't seen yet. However, the problem is something different might happen if we had the pendant on. Which which means we're going to have to double check that scenario again just to see if there's anything different with the pendant. So we're going to find risk keepers. Uh, I found it. So by the ancient law of finders keepers, I kind of feel like I find her, I keep her. <laughs> she shrugs. 
So not everything plays out the same until endgame. Everyone is alive in this scene. I say Taime. Chris is here. Can you stand? It's the first no. time I've ever had everyone alive at this point. I'll hold it off. It's truly really terrifying, you know that? Great monster design. And yes, I'm back on basic difficulty now because I've already done this part once before. I just didn't have everyone alive at the time. Oh, the camera was floating there. Did you see that? That was cool. I love little glitches like that. They make me smile. That camera truly is magical. Where's Tommy and Chris at? Oh, there they are. Oh, Chris went to help find me. Cool. I thought there was stuff I would have to do there. And Robert didn't capture him. It was his dad who did. Is that the first time we've seen dad do that? I thought it was always gonna be Robert. Did we stop it? Guess I was wrong. Aw. Is it is it over? No. There's still one thing left we gotta do. Okay, this is when things help get me. a little bit different. Now we're actually been waiting to do this. Help! Help me get him! So save Stan. Oh, what's this? Work her out. Friendly fire. Help! Help! Uh, back away. No, no, Sam, please help! Oh my God, help! Please help me! No! So that, that fire, I think, is different from the first fire that we did, though, wasn't it? So I always wanted to see what happens if you fire at her. Like, you kill her or something. You don't. You just knock her loose.
And now everything else should play out the same that we've already seen. That is Frank Stone. Okay, now we got a couple of Maddie scenes here. She's wearing the locket now. So this may change things, especially since we just saw Augustine doing some magic on her. How the fuck did I ever end up here? Madison. I'm so glad we're finally able to talk one-on-one. -on -one. The fuck are you? What have you done? Ah, uh, yes. A regrettably unavoidable series of misfortunes. I don't expect you to understand everything at play here, but suffice it to say, one cannot make a proverbial omelet without breaking the proverbial eggs. Eggs? We're not fucking eggs. You you lied. You cheated, manipulated, and, and now there's some kind of horrible monster hunting us. Yep. I have never lied to you. Oh, give me a fucking break, lady. I can make your nightmares go away. I will make them go away. All this pain. All this trauma. Gone. You just need to tell me you want me to. Screw you. Let me just think it over. Go fuck yourself. Then I'm so very sorry for you. No, you're not. <gasps> Come on. Oh, she's doing that thing again. <laughs> What is that going to do? It was recommended that we play out the, uh, these scenes, so. Let's go ahead and see if Maddie causes anything else to happen. And then we have one more thing we need to do, which is Go back to that scene there and say yes and then say no. <laughs> I don't know how I'm hitting those. <laughs> that should have probably been a miss. I mean, I would have had a second shot, but still, that probably should have been a miss. If as she was running away, someone just knocked her out and it was trying to be Maddie and Maddie carries her outside. Once, Frank, and I'll do it again if I get the chance. That's the one thing that I wish I could do in this game. I wish I could beat the bad guy. Instead of just surviving to the end. I wish there was a way to actually beat him. Although I understand why there's not. I mean this does fit the lore better to not have killed it, but And when I say lore better, I'm saying that based on what I know of the lore based on playing this game. Only one motherfucker. And seeing other people play Dead by Daylight means you don't kill the enemy, right? You escape. That's how you win Dead by Daylight. You you flee, so you never actually destroy the enemy anyway. You'll experience it up close soon enough. Oh, look how pretty the pendant is. Look at those eyes. <laughs> What? Uh, where am I? Uh, wh what happened? No time for that now. Come along. She doesn't really remember anything now. So it would have been great though if she knocked someone out. And because of that, like while she was under control. And 
and this will probably be the same. Whether she was hip knights or not, I assume. I'll let it play out. That's what I think I'd be running. <laughs> oh. Your plague of visions will soon end, just as I promised. I bear to you the offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service, unending. All right, so now it looks like everything else plays out the same, except with different characters at the end. But yeah, cool. Now, now we're going to accept her deal, but then don't accept it. This is the first time I've had this collection of characters at the campfire. We got out. We made it. No. Not all of us did. Poor Stan. Poor. Whatever he is now. Only fate can decide what anyone deserves. After what you did... I was sure you were a goner. I've been gone before, but I always come back. Hmm. What happened to Maddie? She didn't make it. What did happen to Augustine? I hope she got everything her cold little heart wanted. And I hope it was everything she deserved. Oh, yeah. Sam. At least one version of her. Who are they? What are they doing here? I don't know. I think they've been here for a long time. We can't stay here. going on here this is bad isn't it they're waiting for something aren't they they're they're waiting for us to begin begin what whether killing or surviving the entity will play with our souls for all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice from which even death is no escape. 
And now, let the trial begin. I do. I... Uh, I... I do. I can't live like this anymore. I... I can't live in this nightmare. Perhaps it is time for something new. And now I don't see anything wrong with just killing off our other characters here. Because I don't think it matters much. Although I do want to... I do want to do this scene where we try to help Sam again. Because I don't know if we've seen that with Linda or not. It won't take too long to get there. Funny, I can do these basic ones. Just gotta open the door. If she had the gun, if she would actually fire at him. Let me know about that too. Dang, I don't remember it being that fast. Frank does not believe in giving anyone a break. I already killed you once, Frank. And I'll do it again if I get the chance. I don't think it matters where you die here, but let's let's die to the um I don't even think you die, but let's let's fall here. Wait, what? What happened there? Did I, do I have an accessibility option that makes me automatically succeed? Cause if so, that one time that I thought I completed it successfully, did I not complete it successfully? Ooh, you know what that means. Uh, when I do the everyone survives ending, I'm gonna have to replay this chapter with you all on Merciless and do it one more what time. Is that? Inescapable fate. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it one more time just to make sure. But Linda and Put the accessibility Sam. off just to make yeah. sure. Nothing else that can be done. I do it for they real. They must find their own path. Aren't you coming? Heck no, lady. I'm out of here. This isn't right. I can't. I'm sorry. If that is your choice, you have no idea of the trials you face. Huh. So that was the same. Even though he had the pendant. So Linda's dead. That was new. At least we gotta see one new thing. That's good. Uh, at least we gotta see one new thing, right? Yeah, he agrees with me. <laughs> okay, my friends, that was two hours and 20 minutes of gameplay to try to put all that stuff together. There's still, there's still two more things we need to do left in this game. The first is make it out with everyone alive on sacrifice. 
with the accessibility, like, not on? Ah, I was playing on sacrifice the whole time. Hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I thought I turned it to ob Observer, but I was doing that whole thing on sacrifice all along. But yeah, we need to do it one more time on sacrifice just to make sure we can do it. And then, after we do that final ending, I'm gonna go into the collection and we'll just go through all the collections together. But for now, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And I will talk to you again very soon. Until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.